mean to tell me that your mama is busting it open for your man. And you on the internet asking us if you wrong for keeping your daughter away from her. Listen here, grab your popcorn, your potato chips, your jujubes. Hell, grab me some Mike and Ikes. Because baby, this tea, oh, it's piping. Welcome to another episode of The Fuckery Found on Facebook. Let's just all imagine we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there's a post that says, it's time for me to share what's been going on in my life. <laughs> well, baby, good thing we all knows it. Come on, tell us what's been going on. This young lady lets us know that she was in a loving and amazing relationship with the gentleman that she absolutely adored. Her family adored him. Hell, even her daughter adored him. Things were going great until they weren't. And after a year, they broke up. She goes on to say that when they broke up, she talked to her mother about it because her mother is her best friend. They did everything together, talked about everything. So it only made sense that she would go talk to her mom. Well, shortly after talking to her mother about the breakup, she finds out that her ex has moved in with her mama. <laughs> Baby, this whole story is on a slow slope to hell. We we are on our way to hell, but we going there together. Now, once the ex moved in, sis noticed that her relationship with her mother was kind of dwindling a bit. She stopped coming around. She stopped calling. And sis could not figure out why her mammy didn't want anything to do with her. She says that goes on for a little while. And then one day, her mother just ups and calls her and says... I have something to tell you. <laughs> Baby, we know this ain't finna be good, but go on, tell us what your mammy said. Mom goes on to tell her that what she needs to tell her is a little effed up, and she hoped that it doesn't affect the relationships that they have or the relationship with her granddaughter. Mom decides to tell her daughter that she is now sleeping with and in a relationship with the now ex-boyfriend. How the hell did you see this coming a mile away? I don't, <sighs> this ma'am is currently on the internet asking us if she's wrong, if she keeps her daughter away from her mother. <laughs> ma'am, I wouldn't let my dog go around your mama. Your mammy is going straight to the depths of hell. You Don't let your baby go around that heifer. She is trifle. Why would you want your baby around her? Girl, just... <sighs> find you a new man that don't like old meat and go on about your business, okay? Your mama, let her do what she doing with Byron and they just live their life because this, this is the biggest bunch of food. Be a blessing. You'll find out that one of your bridesmaids is your husband's concubine and you ain't got a mug shot. <laughs> oh, baby, you know this finna be good. Welcome to another episode of The Fuckery Found on Facebook. It's just all imagine. We're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there is a post that reads, some people just ain't gonna make it to heaven. Imagine finding out that your bridesmaid is your husband's side chick. <laughs> slow slope to hell. We on our way. So the wife goes on to post a whole letter to the sad chick saying that in his normal mind, her husband would never date her and that she had to have used voodoo on him. <laughs> Girl. So the sad chick then responds to the wife and says, oh, no, ma'am, no ham. <laughs> you can believe what you want, but it didn't take no voodoo, baby. I got that good thing thing on him and that's all it took. He goes on to say that God wins and that the side chick is a loser. She has forgiven her husband and they are going to go on with their lives. Y you think that side chick is the only loser in this situation? <laughs> and when I tell y'all the side chick has receipts, oh, she wasn't shy about posting them either. Uh, 
Miss Grace? Let me, you know what? Let me, let me take these off so you can hear me. Um, your husband full of shit and you full of forgiveness. So y'all are made perfect for one another. Y'all gonna learn to quit calling everybody y'all friend. There are truly people out here that are envious of you and want your life. And baby, if she did not swoop right on in and get your man, and you out here defending him while dogging her, that don't make no damn sense to me. Just like his side chick said, that man is laughing at you, just like we are. Because <laughs> you got to be a whole plum fucking fool to believe that this woman put voodoo on your... You know what? Be a blessing. <laughs>